So, Bud, in an interview with Cleveland.com, Mark Shapiro, the former Indians president, now with the Toronto Blue Jays, wouldn't answer directly whether the Cleveland Browns offered him a position mm -hmm. in their front office, but he did say he worked extensively with Alex Shiner and with Sashi Brown. So that begs the question, would Shapiro have made a good person to lead the Browns organization? Absolutely he would have, especially for what they're looking for. They're looking for a guy to organize the, the staff and organize the, the organization in a way that, that makes sense and cuts down on inefficiencies. How do you think the fan base would have reacted to that, given his history with the Indians? Oh, it would have been uh, rioting in the streets. I mean, really, because the Indians have never gotten the benefit of the doubt as an organization, even though they've stood for some of the same things that Haslam's trying to do now. So then it makes sense that Shapiro, who worked with Paul DePodesta in the Indians' front office way back when, is the guy that eventually gets the job. Yeah, it's a little speculation on our part, or my part, but, but I believe that Podesta led directly from Shapiro's contact with the Browns. And then finally, Shapiro, he's now in Toronto, he's gone, the Indians organization, not much has changed in his absence, but what's Shapiro's legacy in Cleveland? Uh, if we could put a grade on it, I'd say probably a C plus. I would rate him higher than that, but I think most fans would probably rate him lower than that. There's no grading on a curve in Cleveland. <laughs> Not when it comes to the Indians, especially. All right, he's Bud Shaw. I'm Zach Meisel. Thanks for watching on Cleveland.com.